that I shouldn't have, and that's okay. But now I've learned and I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to be Jabri. I'm ready to be me. I'm ready to be free, you know, in my spirit and my soul. So especially the artists, um, Gunner Jules, you know, shout out to you. Shout out to my Lakota brother who's who's really pushing forward and doing his thing. Shout out to the real Brandon who just bought a badge. Shout out to all my artists out there. Even though, even some of y'all don't classify yourself as artists, but we're all artists, right? We're all kids inside. So I'm dropping <laughs> my first NFT project, okay? I'm dropping my first NFT project and I'm dropping it in literally Sunday. So this is the NFT project. This is the NFT project. I know you laughing, but I'm gonna auction these off on Instagram. And it's funny, right? It's funny, it's hilarious, it's funny. But at the end of the day, the material possessions don't mean anything. So for any of my artists that are watching this, for any of my fans, anything, it's the energy behind the material, right? So the brands, the exotic cars, all the things that we want, the big houses, all that, it's the, it's the energy behind that brand that's important. So when you get a Mercedes Benz, you get a Ferrari, you get a, a multi-million dollar house, you get whatever it is you want. It's not really about the thing because once you get the thing, you're just going to want the next thing. That's how, that's how these big corporations work. That's how they, they, they're geniuses. That's how advertising works, right? So you can never, ever, ever get trapped in that cycle. And that's why that first single was Rat Race. You can't get trapped in that rat race chasing the cheese. Because then at, at the end of the day, you wake up, you're old, can't move your knees. <laughs> you feel me? Like, you have to believe in yourself, y'all. You have to believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. It's not about you. It's about the vision. It's about the legacy you leave for the other generation. That's what you're doing this for. That's what you're doing this for. And even if you think you're not, there's somebody watching you right now, whether it's your little brother, your little sister, a cousin, a friend, a coworker, that looks up to you. you. You don't even know it. They might not have the courage to tell you, right? So on Sunday, I'm auctioning these off, these pants off. And what are these pants? These pants, this rip symbolizes something so big in my life. I ripped it up, y'all. I ripped the matrix. I was not supposed to get this far. Incarcerated 16 through 18. Suicide attempt 15 years old. Right? Struggling with mental health issues my whole life. I wasn't supposed to get this far. So this is a, this is a rip in the fabric. Right? That's what that means to me. That's a rip in the fabric. This means something completely different. Anybody who bought a badge, I'm sending you this postcard. This doesn't make sense. It just looks like a bunch of colors. It looks like a bunch of scribbles. But to me, in 10 years, I'm going to explain what this means. In 10 years, I'm going to explain what this means. <laughs> and they're going to be like, wow. Right? They're going to be like, wow, Jabri. Wow. I had no idea. So it's about the legacy. It's about the legacy. It's about the legacy. I harp on that. And even if you feel like you're too old or you feel like you know no one cares or you feel like uh, digitally unconnected, it does not matter. It's about the legacy. Start right now. All you have is right now. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not promised. It's just right now, right? So I'm gonna do some show and tell with you. Shout out to Cameron. Shout out to Cameron Bell. That's my brother, y'all. Go follow Cameron Bell. That's my brother. I love you, bro. Um, sending love and light to you out in there in Vegas. So I'm gonna do some show and tell with y'all. Let me see. Some some things that I that I pers recently purchased. Let me see. So this necklace, this was about four dollars, right? Beautiful woman in Kenya made it for me, right? I gave her eight dollars. She was astounded. What? Yeah, you're worth it. Your energy. You put in the energy. You put in the energy to make this piece, right? This sweater right here, ten dollars. 
No, no, I paid $10 because they gave me a discount. But shout out to Doc and Alice, Rapid City, South Dakota. This is that Dakota boho. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't need the Gucci. I don't need all that other shit. Like, and, and shout out to all those beautiful designers who do all that luxury clothes. But I don't need to spend no $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 on a jacket when I, when I feel the, the legacy behind this. You know what I mean? I feel, I feel, and, and, and you got to support those people who do on to you. So anybody who supported you from the beginning, put fuel into those people. If you're an artist or you're just, it, just, it doesn't matter if you're an artist. I'm not just speaking to the artists. Anybody who's ever done anything in their life and there's been somebody who supported you, whether it be your mom, your friend, whoever it was, give them your love. Appreciate them. If they buy one thing from you, if they just give you encouragement, don't dwell on the negative. Dwell on that person who's putting gas on your fire, right? Gas on your fire. That's the person. That's the person that's always going to be there from day one. Because everybody else is going to come with the gas tanks once you make it. Don't worry about that. Worry about the people who were there from the beginning, who saw in the vision, right? So this is, this is my bikini bottom. I am SpongeBob. <laughs> I am SpongeBob. I've been, I, I, I've been through so much.